Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce theme. In this video, we are going to talk about the different updates for the WooCommerce Next.js project where we have WordPress in the backend and in the front end, we have the Next.js and we have built this WooCommerce application in React. Okay, so let's start. So as you can see that this is the WooCommerce front end, which is live. So you can go on to this URL and you can test it for yourself. You can do add to cart, uh, you can do view cart, you can update. Uh, as you can see, it's lightning fast. You can do checkout as well. So there are certain updates that I have made to this project and uh, this specific video won't be about coding. Uh, this will just be about all of the different changes that have been added onto this WooCommerce Next.js project, right? Uh, so the first thing we've added is the country selection. So now you can select any of the countries and this is actually coming from the WooCommerce API and, and this is not hard coded. So whatever WooCommerce countries are available, you are getting the list of it. So this is available server side. So you can select whichever you want. Let's say I select India here. And the moment you select that, you can see that, uh, you know, it loads. So let me try that once again. Let's select Australia. You see there's a loading here and then it gives you an option to select a state. So now I can select any state here. So basically it makes a request to WordPress using the GraphQL query. So let's see if I select India over here, hit enter. Uh, let's say that if I select India over here, and I select it, you can see there's a request that goes to WordPress and this is the get states query. So let me zoom it in. You can see that we are passing the country code here and in return, this get states query is going to give you the response and it gives you the state code as well as the state name, right? So we are able to get that. Now this new change, this API, basically this query that you have available, this is a custom query that I've written. Uh, so this is not available by default. That is why we are introducing the headless CMS plugin, which is the custom plugin I've written. It's also available on WordPress org. Uh, and it's the latest version we are using, which is 1.9.0. So this basically allows us to extend the WP GraphQL plugin and have this uh, query available so we can actually get the states basis which uh, country has been selected so let's say if i select any other country over here let's say let's say united states and then you can go see that another request goes and basically uh, uses country code as us and then in the response we get all of these states that are inside of us and then you can go ahead and select that state from here. So you've got all of those states available, right? So it's all dynamic, which is beautiful. And it's all coming from WooCommerce. So whenever there are changes, if WooCommerce updated, this API is going to get us the right data, okay? So, so you can fill in all of the information. You can select the state that you want and you can go ahead and place an order, okay? Uh, you also have an option to check this box in case if your billing address is different than the shipping address that you can check this box and you can fill it in and then you can select a different country here say india and then you will have the states available uh, for india okay so that's all you can do uh let's say we uncheck this one for now and let's say we go with india let's select and then you can go ahead and check these options and you can place the order like so. So you can see that it's processing the order and the order has been placed and order received as well, which is brilliant. And if you go back to the backend and uh, click on orders, you can see that 14 seconds ago, uh, we've got this new order and we've got all of the uh, information about the order over here. We've got the products. So these are the products that I've added into my card. This is the price. So all of the information is there, which is brilliant. Okay, cool. So if you would like to see what are the changes that have been made, um, you can go on to this pull request, which is add dynamic location. And I've listed down all of the changes that have been made. 
uh, for example adding all country list which is coming on server side through the api states based on country list selection uh, i've updated the next js version to the latest and also the graphql plugins to the latest versions so now this particular update which is basically the new release which is this one uh, so version 2.1.0 of Woonext.js includes these changes it introduces this new plugin so we have that extra endpoint available which is required for getting the country and then you have the WooCommerce which is again the latest version you have the WP GraphQL latest version 1.3.8 you have the GraphQL WooCommerce latest, latest version. So all of the plugins have been updated to the latest version. The next year is updated, which is great. And um, the next thing is I've also updated the queries and mutations as per the plugin latest version. So you will find some of the changes in the queries. So you can go to this PR and you can check out what are the changes in the query. So all the diffs has been present. For example, product uh, is now available inside of Node. Uh, the product id is now called database id so all of those changes are present you can check it out okay next thing is that it creates an option to add different shipping or billing address which i've already addressed and then it also uses the next.js image component for the images so this has been an update so if you go onto the front end if you check these images these are now using the next.js image so you can see that let me just zoom it out a little bit so you can see that this is the next image which is optimized one so unlike earlier where it was loading the big size of the image now this image has been compressed and it's been optimized which is great for performance okay so all of these images are now being optimized and it's actually using the next.js image component if you want to know more about uh, how to use next.js component what are, what are its benefits you can actually uh, check out my video on Next.js image component, which actually explains to you uh, how this Next.js image component works. Okay, but this has all been updated, so you can check it out. Uh, you've got your categories, so you can go to clothing, so all of these categories are available, which is great. You have your single product as well, you can add to cart and stuff. All right, brilliant, awesome. So the next video is going to be really interesting in the upcoming video we are going to learn how to integrate stripe into this project okay so i know you've been asking me for a quite some time and now is the time we go one level up and we basically add this stripe integration which means user can select the stripe option here and then user will be able to add the card information and then place the order via stripe api okay so i'm pretty excited about that i'm sure you are as well and uh, i will go ahead and share that with you very soon all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and do star my repository like all the beautiful 393 people have thanks thanks everyone for your love and support on this one and please do follow me on github like all the 802 people have supported me so please follow me on github as well and twitter my twitter handle is cody tech all right then so i'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye